Hey guys, back with another video. Uh, this one I'm gonna lump in a, a few signings because I mean they're they're pretty they're not huge signings and I don't have a ton of thoughts on them. So I figured lump them all together and uh that's it. So, uh, like the video below, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, comment on the signings below. And, uh, yeah, so the Mets, you know, they lost uh, Zach Wheeler to the Phillies. So... You know, they had a uh, need for some pitching depth, I guess you could say. And they decided to sign uh, Rick Porcello. So, Rick Porcello is not good. I mean, he's, yeah, he won the Cy Young Award in 2016, but that was a fluke. I mean, he's just never been good. He hasn't, that was uh, one of two seasons in 2016, one of two seasons with an ERA below four. So he's just not a good pitcher. Last season with the Red Sox, he actually had a 5.52 ERA. And I don't know. I mean, they signed, the Mets signed him to a one year, $10 million deal. So usually with one year deals, I say, you know, go for it. But I don't, I I don't see any team giving him close to ten million dollars. Any other team, I should say. So they probably bid against themselves. And I mean, the one thing is the Mets aren't really relying on him uh, as a starter because. Uh, at the trade deadline, they made a shocking trade to trade for Mark, uh, Marcus Stroman. They have DeGrom and Syndergaard. Uh, their number four starter is Steven Matz. So he'll be competing for that uh, fifth starter job. And if he doesn't get it, I mean, stick him in the bullpen, I guess. I don't know. But those are my thoughts on that. It's not, you know, whatever. But um, so then the Red Sox signed Jose Peraza for, to a one-year $3 million deal. So if you remember... Jose Peraza was one of the players that was non-tendered, and I was, it didn't make a ton of sense to me because he was once, a, he was a top prospect not that long ago. He's only been in the league three years, and actually his 2018 was uh, very promising. He uh, hit 288, 328, or three, 288, 326, 416. His offense was slightly below average, but, you know, he, he steals bases. He stole and... Uh, you know, he's, 
I don't know what he'll do as far as home runs. He doesn't have a ton of power. He never had a ton of power. He did hit 14 home runs in 2018, but, you know, 2019, you know, people thought he was going to improve, and he he really struggled. His on-base percentage was under 300. His slugging was below 350, and he didn't really steal bases. Uh, I think he was injured, though. But he also uh, was a bit unlucky, if you could. His uh, BABIP, which stands for batting average on balls in play, was uh, 268. And generally, the average is uh, 300. You know, a 300 Babbitt is sort of your standard. And quick players are, you know, they can go up depending on how fast they are because they can beat out ground balls and slower players generally fall below 300 but I still think he has uh, he has upside and I think it's a good pickup for the Red Sox not a lot of money you know if you know they could uh see what they have. If they don't like him, they could drop him mid-season or just not choose to extend him, you know, not choose to re-sign him. But we'll see. I th- I thought it was good. It's a nice little uh, rebound signing. And actually, no, they wouldn't even re-sign him because he's our vi- he would still be arbitration eligible next season. So, you know, they have him for the next three seasons if they want him. So, whatever. But uh, the last signing I'm going to talk about is uh, the Tigers signed Austin Romine to a one-year $4.1 million deal. And Austin Romine was the backup catcher for the Yankees. And if you remember, in the last video where I talked about uh, the Brett Gardner signing, I brought up backup catcher. And, you know, he was, um, it was a good signing, I thought. You know, he, he played well last year when Gary Sanchez was injured. He sort of picked it up with the bat the last couple of seasons. And for a team like the Tigers... You know, let's just pull up their depth chart right here. Right, yeah, they're they don't have a starting catcher that's you know implanted that's cemented in. Uh, so, I think they probably could try him out as a starter, see if he could hold up as a starting catcher and, you know, because when, uh, you know, when he was coming up as a prospect, he was looked at as a, as a defense only catcher. And then with the Yankees the last couple of seasons, he has performed nicely with the bat, so, you know, we'll see. 
I, I mean, it's, I think it's worth the gamble for the Tigers, and that is it. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, like the video below, subscribe to the channel, comment below, give me your thoughts. And um, as usual, check out the website, theunusefulidiots.com. Uh, you can, we have a bunch of links to the podcast on there or, you know, just take a look around the site. We have a support page where you could support the podcast and the YouTube channel help grow, you know, better equipment, better setup, all that kind of stuff. If you want to see, uh, if you like what I'm doing and you want to help me grow, you know, consider it. Uh, and uh, that's it. See you next time.